Sooner or later, when you're programming against the SDS2.NET API, you're going to need to work with members, plates, angles, welds, or bolts. Well, how exactly do we do that? Well, ladies and gentlemen, today we answer that question. So without any further delay, let's slide into this. Now that we have our job open, we can get a list of the member handles in order to get our members of our job. Now, a member handle is an object that allows us to retrieve a member in two different ways. But let's first hit a member handle list. So we'll say member handle list handles equals job dot members. Now, from here, we can iterate over our member handle list. So we can say for each member handle, I'm just going to call it MH for short, in member handles. Now, earlier I said this allows us to get a member in two different ways. But first, we need to add a new using. So we go up here, I'll say using design data dot SDS two dot model. Then we go back to our for each loop. Let's say member brief. Now a member brief object is extremely useful, especially if you're wanting to read data. It's the fastest way you can retrieve data about members in your SDS two model. However, it comes at an expense. That being, you miss three properties, and you don't have access to most of, most of the methods. But let's go ahead and finish writing our line of code. So we'll say member brief called MB equals mem member brief dot get, and we'll pass in the member handle. So now. If we say MB dot, we can see everything that we have access to. We have the ends, a bunch of the properties. Um, if you care about the section size of the of the shape, you could go like shape uh, section size. So you have all your read properties. So member briefs are really good about that. The other way is just by getting a member. Now, when you get a member, it is slower. But you have access to all the properties of member brief, plus the three additional that you're missing, and you have access to all of the methods on a member. So to get a member, we'll say equals member.get, and you pass in the member handle. And we'll say member dot, and if we filter on functions down here, we'll see that we have a lot more options here. Then we do if we use a member brief. Now, in order to retrieve materials, you first have to get a member, but then you have to be able to grab the materials off of that. So we'll say a material list ml is equal to member oops member dot get material now a material list will contain about 27 different types of materials Today, we will be fo mostly focusing on two of them, one being a rectangular plate and the other being an angle. Before we can access our materials, we first need to create a for each loop over our material list. So we'll just say material in ML. So now we can go ahead and set up our a switch statement. So we'll say switch, and we will be switching on the type of our objects. So we'll say switch on mat, and then we'll say, whoop, we'll say case 
rectangular plate RP. And then we will also say case angle All right, so now that we have our switch set up, we now access the properties of each of the materials we want. So on our rectangular plate, if we wanted to get our thickness, we could do that. Or if we wanted to get our length, we have the order length, we have the part length. Um, we also have width of the plate. You really have everything you need in order to get information about your plates here. And then with angle, all right, we have a lot of the same uh, properties. You have the length, you can view the shape dot section size, so that way you know what type of angle it is. You really have all the access to everything you need to know about the parts inside your model. Now if we want to get information about our welds and our bolts that we have in our model, you can do it a lot like how you get the materials. So here we can say a weld list. We'll call that WO is equal to member dot get welds. Now, just like in the fashion of our materials, we'll just say for each weld W and our weld list. We can say w dot arrow side dot weld type in order to get the type of weld that we have. So, like for example, if we have twelve on this or, or view the source, we can see that we have all the different types of welds that we know that we're working with, and that is great. And then for bolts, it's accessed very much in the same way. We can say bolt list bolts equals member dot get bolts and from here we can set up our for each loop we can say bolt b and bolts and then we have access to all of our properties here we also have some access to methods um, like adding nuts adding washers However, for that, you'll need a transaction, and we will be covering that in a later video. So make sure that you are subscribed and you hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss that video. Thank you again for tuning in and coding along with me today. Today we learned how to get different materials from our SDS2 model. In the next video, we will be covering how to get our drawings. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.